on the trail of the earliest people early hunter gatherers and how they lived when does the story of man begin the study of man starts 2.5 to 2.6 million years ago we know very little about their lives but we do know that their lives were very different from ours life of the early man the men probably traveled in hunting packs or groups into the mainland to look for wild animals to hunt the women probably stayed near the coast to gather plants and firewood these people probably looked different too these people were known as hunter gatherers they hunted animals and gathered fruits and roots gathering things to eat was hard man had to wait for the right season and find things that were not poisonous to the body hunting was not an easy task most animals are stronger and faster and have sharper senses than man early man didn't live in one place the hunter gatherers kept moving from place to place why did the hunter gatherers move from place to place the wandering man the hunter gatherers wandered searching for things to eat they probably finished the food in the place where they were staying and had to move the animals they hunted may have moved so the hunter gatherers would have to move too the hunter gatherers wandered searching for water to drink some rivers and lakes would not have water all year round so when they would dry up the hunter gatherers would have to move and look for a new water source the hunter gatherers wandered according to seasons plants bear fruits and vegetables only in certain seasons not all year round it would be difficult to live in a place where the weather got too cold or wet think and discuss the early hunter gatherers did not stay in one place why do you think they wandered how do we know so many things about early man studying ancient man scientists who study human history are called anthropologists they study the bones of these creatures the tools they used the settlements they have found etc the first people to walk erect were hominids they descended from the apes they were 4 feet tall and had long arms then came homo erectus he was taller and more like the humans we see today after that was homo sapiens he was quite similar to modern man sapiens means wise after that was homo sapiens sapiens that is what we are today can you guess what that means this is how man's body changed let's now see how his living changed stone age man archaeologists have found many stone tools of early man so the first part of the history of man is called the stone age the people probably used tools of wood and bone too but after so many years only the stone ones remained stone was easily available in nature and quite strong tools made of stone would last longer too early man probably used stone tools for many things to cut meat to scrape bark to get animal skin and to chop fruits and roots early man must have used stone tools to chop wood too then he must have used the wood to build huts make tools or make fire think and discuss the first part of the history of man is called stone age because of the stone tools found why did early man use stone to make tools